in order to separate ethanol from water so we can use ethanol in our biofuel reactions we need to separate it using distillation here i have made a homemade inefficient distilling apparatus using a coke bottle and some plastic tubing and this pickle jar actually it's a ragu jar but anyways so here we have our 14 percent alcohol alcoholic beverage with the rest of it being water and of colorants and things like that. And we're heating it in water so that it's more indirect and it's not receiving direct heat so that we can control the temperature a little easier. And it'll evaporate in this jar, rise up the tube, condense, and drop into this little container. Now, this all depends on the fact that ethanol and water have different boiling points with water being 212 and ethanol being 173. So obviously this water is boiling so it's at 212 but we need to check what the alcoholic the alcohol itself is is boiling at because if it's over 173 then the ethanol is boiling but if it's above 212 or if it's at 212 that means the water is also boiling and we're also collecting water over here which is not what we want. So I'm going to remove this rather carefully because it is hot. There we go. I'm going to stick my thermometer, turn it on real quick. Put on. Stick my thermometer in. Careful to not touch the bottom. And it does not look like it's going to go over 200. Nope, right there at 189. That means the ethanol in the green liquid is boiling but the water is not and it, this liquid that we have collected in this beaker over here is mostly alcohol of course some water does get carried up with it but it we can check now the grab the density of this liquid in comparison to this beverage over here and I have a little bit of math written down, but of course not filled out yet because we haven't taken the numbers yet. But the density should be less because the density of ethanol is a lot less than water.